What is up, friends? My name is Laura. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, welcome. As you know, I have been training for an Ironman. This is officially going to be my final video before actually doing it, but going into it, I really enjoyed watching other people's journeys. Um, and also I learned a lot. So I was very confused about like the check-in experience and the check-in process. So I'm going to be doing that all today. So I'm gonna bring you through that. So hopefully if you are doing an Ironman in the future, this will clear up any questions you have. I also will just kind of vlog and show you my day. Um, I will be doing a transition tour um, put on by the meet director. I will be doing my athlete check-in um, and I'm just gonna walk around like the expo and stuff. So let's go. Here's the lake where I will be swimming. If I haven't said this video, I am doing Ironman New Zealand. So I'm over here on the North Island in Tapo. Um, I've been here a few days. Um, it's been great. It's a beautiful lake. And since I am 48 hours before, um, there's so many people um, swimming. So I'm just quickly gonna show you this. Very, very cool. They have these uh, demos, whatever I'm trying to say there, I'll show you. Oh, this is amazing on my legs. All right, I'm all checked in. I have my backpack, very exciting. And um, there's gonna be a transition tour um, in 15 minutes. So I'm just heading over there. The transition tour is well, shock for where the transitions are, but it's right in front of like the swimming um, where you'll be dropping to go start your bike. Check-in was super, super easy. Um, everyone was so lovely and super embarrassing, but they like rang a bell when they heard it was like your first, your first Iron Man. I haven't really gone through like the backpack. I can just see that you'll be putting like different numbers on different things. So that's definitely something I wanna get clarity on. And if I'm confused, I'm just gonna bring my bike and the stuff there tomorrow and ask at the information booth. And everyone just seems to be super helpful and great volunteers there. Time to go learn about the transitions. fast coming down but you've only got all right I feel like I learned a ton um yeah there's still some questions but like for the most part I feel like it's just gonna be I'm not going to be first by any means so I'm just really gonna follow the person in front of me um this Iron Man's a little bit different um a it's a mass start for the swim 
Um, so kind of like put you in every like four seconds, but technically all age groups and according to your cap for your predicted swim time, everyone starts together. So that kind of sucks. Um, but that, and this also is a 70.3 as well. So um, yeah, in my opinion, that's just kind of like whatever more the merrier when it comes to like cheering people on and stuff like that. But it does make it slightly more confusing for sure. Airbnb. I started, it's a disaster zone around here. I started uh, putting out all of like my transition bags and realized I didn't actually take you through of everything that I actually got. Sorry, it's not actually all crisp and lovely anymore, but um, first I got this. Um, I basically, I, I went Thursday pretty early on into when you actually could pick up your check-in bag. So like I said earlier, very, very easy, but um, I just had my QR code ready. I didn't even check my ID, but uh, yeah, it basically has all the course cutoffs, um, some more information, bike collection, um, transition bags. So I'm going to, to reread this. Within it, it had, I'll put a picture on the screen, but it was like a lot of different numbers. So I haven't fully figured that one out yet. <laughs> um, it also has my transition bags, which I've started going into. So one will be for the run, one will be for the bike. And then you put like a sticker on there. I also brought other tape to make my bag look just a little bit different. Hopefully I'm just able to recognize it and then make my transition a little easier and smoother and faster. They don't do this, I do not believe, everywhere, but um, for here in Tapo, they are doing two $30 food vouchers to a lot of the restaurants in town, so that's very nice. Um, you have to put on two tattoos, one on your left calf and one on your right forearm, I believe. Um, they have some little stickers. I'm supporting Laura. have my official number. And I'm... One cool thing is um, if you have like a loved one that's coming to support you and probably right after the race or the next day, seems like a lot of work to collect your bags and collect all of your items. The person that's watching you probably has quite a bit of extra time um, in between cheering for you. So you are allowed to give them this and they officially are allowed to go and collect your bag and collect um, your bags throughout the course. So very, very nice feature. The bag, just a nice little kind of bag. Um, yeah, I always like these, very nice. Um, and then you get a very large bag, and I love this. It's a big backpack. It says Neutral Green because that's the sponsor of this one. Iron Man New Zealand, anything is possible. Really nice backpack. And then within it, those kind of things were already in there, like the stickers and stuff. And then your swim cap, so you have to use this to show um, what like your predicted time is. I signed up seven months ago and I just put myself as over an hour 25, which is like the slowest thing. I think I'll get a little bit under there, but I'm fine with that I did this one. I think I prefer to like do that than just be in a rush with a million people. And then I also got um, kind of like some Red Bull and some Nutri-Grain bars. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So I'm basically, as you can see, just sitting on the ground right now, kind of going through everything. Just I feel like I'm gonna wanna put it kind of all together tonight and then that allows me to actually like fully think through everything all tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow I'll bring in like my wetsuit as well as um, my bike and do that drop off. This one that's different than ones in the US. Someone was saying that um, ones in the US you have access to like your transition bags the morning of an Ironman, whereas this one you don't. So um, that's fine, just something to know. Um, so I'm actually just gonna put like some frozen, I'm not sure if you've seen the frozen like uh, grocery stores, there's like some like frozen pies, frozen like 
peanut butter and jam sandwiches, those kind of things, then they'll thaw out overnight. Um, and I just feel like they'll just be like super easy, just like already in a little uh, bag thing. Eat it on my way to it um, through a transition. You do have access to your bike though that morning if you want to like pump up your tires a little more or um, put some more like food in like I don't know your saddle bag or whatever it is. Um, so you do have access to your actual bike itself. I definitely found the transition tour very like helpful. I'm such a visual person that was able to visually show me what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, Feel like a lot of it I'm kind of just going to be like following the people around me. I'm not looking to podium, you know, <laughs> I'm just looking to get it done and cross that finish line all in one piece. So for me it's just going to be about, I feel like kind of the energy around town is so good and kind of picking up on that being friendly to people and hopefully they cheer for me back. Um, oh I also got like a sticker that says this is my first one so I'll show you a picture of that here as well. But yeah my next video will probably be post Iron Man and doing some um, just some wrap-ups or some what I wish I knew, di knew di did differently or like any of that kind of training stuff so uh, make sure you subscribe but that it will be coming in the future probably once I'm back stateside. Just quickly want to say if you've made it this far thank you but um this journey to this Iron Man has been a lot probably a lot worse but also just a lot more mental than I was expecting um it's just it's been so much um I would say I, I vent a lot too <laughs> I'm um, some people and um, I just I really really appreciate all the support um, all of the messages that I've ever gotten along the way I've gotten some really really nice ones and I really appreciate those kind of messages and that support whether that means I'm like motivating you whether that means like you're just cheering me on and you really believe in me I truly truly appreciate that um, it's been feel like a lot of people's reasons for doing an Ironman is always different and mine I just I just felt like it was always something that I truly wanted to do and completely for myself so um even in the questionnaire um leading up to the Ironman they they ask you when you're registering like why are you doing this and I I think my answer was just something like because I've always because I really want to keep living life which is always like my my life slogan for myself so um yeah, it's just been, it's been a huge journey and one I've learned so much about myself, um, my capabilities, my motivation, my determination, and everything else in between. It has not been a pleasant journey, a lot of it, but also I definitely feel like if I cross that finish line in two days, it will 100% be worth it though, so. Thank you for sticking with me and thanks for watching my videos and the support I get along the way. I appreciate you all. Keep living life.